What is going on guys? It is Chris and I wanted to make an update to the video that I put out on the other day showing uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 having some issues with using an Xbox Series SX uh, controller wirelessly via Bluetooth and the solution that I found that I have tested to be pretty consistent um, uh, it's working out pretty well, but I just want to show that this is indeed still giving me the bugs and everything with me running a wireless setup. So once you get into the game, I can just show that off. Um, but this uh, workaround is going to involve using Steam um, and having your game boot up directly via Steam. So you can already, already see, like, I'm using my mouse and then switching the buttons from my mouse to my controller already. So that right there just shows you that it's still bugging out. So you can already see that. You can already see there that we're still getting some issues. But I just want to get this set up. So I can have everything on screen. So got that over there. We got our handy dandy gamepad tester. And as you can see, got my Xbox controller. And you know, like like I said in the previous, when it's not when the mouse isn't tabbed into the game, it works fine. But then the second that I actually click into the game, that's when I start getting issues. All right. So as you can see, pressing B and is doing the attack instead of actually working. And then pressing A and it's doing guards, which is not what's supposed to happen. Pressing menu. You, so you can see everything's still kind of busted. So that's just showing that. And uh, like I can, like I showed previously, uh, here's my Xbox series x controller and plugged in wirelessly so we got that so the solution um i just want to point out there's this uh, reddit thread that's been going on that originally started with having issues with using the nintendo switch pro controller um but as you can see here a lot of people have been talking about their issues with running controllers in general and this one uh, message from uh, Firehill Gomez see right there um, they're recommending um, using Steam and having everything set up um, opening from Steam and then pulling in the controller settings that way I have tried this and I had troubles getting it to work but um, after some uh, troubleshooting, I was able to figure out what I actually needed to do to get this to work. So I'm going to show you guys in this video. So first thing I got to do is have Epic Games closed. And then we're going to open Steam. Now, once we get into our library, we are going to add epic games as an extra extra thing here um this one i have set to my lap this is for my laptop this is wondering why if you're wondering why i have two uh instances up that's why um but just so i have a fresh reference for this we are going to just go ahead and add this non-steam game 
and right here it's showing that I have or already added it. Um, you're going to want to find Epic Games in your computer. So the way you want to do that is go to wherever you have Epic, the Epic Game Store uh, installed to. So for me, I have it installed on my C drive. It's on the program files, x86, and then Epic Games. And we're going to go into Launcher, Portal. Portal, then binaries, and then you're going to have either Win32 or Win64. I personally use the Win64 because I feel like there's just, I don't need to use the 32-bit version of the Epic Games Launcher. So go into the Win64 and then get Epic Games Launcher. So then it'll add it in here, as you can see, and say, hey, add selected programs. So now I got that installed. Now here we have controller configuration. If you see your gamepad on here, then everything is working fine. If you don't see your gamepad on here, what you have to do is go to the top where it says Steam, go into settings, and then go down to controller, go to general controller settings, and then make sure that the Xbox configuration support is clicked on. So we have that on here. So that is checked. So Steam is able to use my Xbox controller and there's no, not going to be any issues with that. So now once you have all of that set up, you can just go ahead and click play. It's going to boot up Epic Games, and you're going to know it works. As you see in the bottom right corner of the window, it says access to the Steam community. Um, unless you have your notifications turned off, I'm not sure if that uh, shows up for everybody, but by default, it should usually show up. So now we're just going to boot up Kingdom Hearts 3 from this launcher. And as you can see there, it also uh, showed in the game as well. So that's another way to just double check, make sure that everything is working properly. So I'm just moving this out of the way. And just to show that everything is working properly. So... As you can see in the bottom right, I'm clicking B, and as it should be, nothing is happening. And then when I go to hit continue, I hit A, everything worked fine. All right, so as you can see, right now I'm hitting A, and the only thing that's happening is my attacks. And I hit B, and my jumps are happening perfectly fine. My I'm pressing my triggers, my camera's not rotating. I can use all the buttons as they are intended to, and it works perfectly fine. So this is a really... I don't, I want to say it's a pretty easy workaround if you're somebody that unfortunately doesn't use Steam on PC, which I feel would be generally a minority of uh, players. Uh, this should work out just fine for you. And I could just do a bit more testing, just showing off how this works. Because the one issue that I had was that I would have this plugged in and then it would just decide to stop working uh, mid-game so playing for an extended period of time would be a good way to just test out and make sure that everything works as intended
So as you can see there, I can do everything. I can do my basic attacks, my jumps, and everything like that. And have no issues. See, this is... This is thankfully a pretty good workaround. And the good thing about this too is this isn't exclusive to... This workaround is not exclusive to just using an Xbox controller. You can use a PlayStation controller. You can use a Nintendo Switch controller. And as long as you have the settings actually selected in the game or in Steam, then they should work fine. So that's one nice thing about this. So, as you can see, the controller works fine. Um, so yeah, that's all I really had to show. Um, hopefully this helps out. And then, again, shout out to the person that posted that um, in the uh, Reddit. And I will actually link that down below if you wanted to look at that for yourselves. Um, but yeah, hope this was helpful. Um, and if it was, just leave a like. And... Comment down below if there's been any issues uh, with you guys setting this up. Um, and yeah.